Hello, I'm Robin Wishell with the Bahamas Weekly. Today we're at the Bahamas Film Studios on Grand Bahama Island, on location for a German production called Der Seawolf. for a very important press briefing on the dock at the film studio and we bring that to you now. It's a great opportunity for us to attract films um, of this size and really try to continue to attract them because it's not always that we're going to get those great big blockbusters like Pirates of the Caribbean. So for continuity and development of filming here in Grand Bahama, we're happy to have these smaller projects. We believe we can attract them and get them here more consistently. And so we're happy to have them here. Well, we think we're going to have an interesting year with filming in the Bahamas. We've already started off the year, we think, with a bang. In January, we had our first film production, Miracle at St. Anna, which was directed by, was being directed by Spike Lee, shot on a wonderful beach uh, in Nassau, and then it went to uh, Italy to shoot in Rome. It's based on the World War II story of the uh, black uh, African-American buffalo soldiers. And there's a scene that required a beach, and Spike is a great friend of Michael Jordan. And so he was speaking to Michael Jordan, I need to shoot this film, I need a beach, or where should I go? And Michael said, why don't you go to the Bahamas? Uh, they've got the best beaches that I know of. And so next thing you know, I'm getting a call from Spike Lee about 3 a.m. in the morning from Italy. And uh, this is Spike Lee. I said, oh, yeah, okay, uh, how can I help? Well, uh, we need to shoot a scene uh, on a wonderful beach, and we were told you've got the best beaches. I said, yeah, that's true, we do have the best beaches. Next thing I know, Spike is sending his team over here and they, they just enjoyed it and loved it. And now we're shooting uh, The Sea Wolf uh, with uh, uh, Thomas Kreschmann and a host of wonderful European and German uh, actors. I grew up in East Germany and uh, I escaped in, in, the, in the 80s. Uh, then I started my career in Berlin. Uh, I've been a member of the National Theatre Group there. Um, then in the early 90s I started doing films. Um, Actually, my first big film called Stalingrad, which uh, which was the biggest film that time Germany had, and uh, and I left right away afterwards because I thought it doesn't go it doesn't go further. So I tried to build an international career. Um, did a couple of films in France, did a, did a couple of films in Italy, and then I went to Hollywood. Uh, you probably seen The Pianist or King Kong. Um, Last year I did a film with Tom Cruise called Valkyrie, a film with Angelina Jolie called uh, Wanted, they're coming out this year. Um, so I'm doing basically one after the other. My name is Christoph Schrebe and I'm coming from Berlin, Germany. And I'm very happy to shoot here the Sea Wolf in the Bahamas. So, uh, what we, the Sea Wolf plays basically in, a, in, a, in the North Pacific and uh, but shooting the North Pacific is not a good idea because it's <laughs> it's very very cold and it's not it, and it's uh, incredibly dangerous. And the beauty here, what we can achieve here, is very very different looks of the sea. We can shoot quite safely in quite rough waters, and uh, we have a very beautiful surrounding for us. Uh, and it's warm. It's not cold and so I'm very delighted to shoot here it's beautiful we have great wind today again a beautiful sailing day we most of the time go out sailing from here from from the studios and uh, shoot out in in the ocean and uh, sometimes catch some fresh fish then here shooting in the studio that that meant for us you see these uh, up there if you just point your cameras up there for a moment there are these incredible machines uh, which <laughs> which provided us with, uh, with uh, they are water slides we could do a quite interesting special effect storm with uh, basing the boat where it is now here in in the in the tank and uh, create quite good special effects so uh, that's uh, uh, the other let's say uh, advantage we have here so we can go out sailing and if the, it's not the right sailing weather we are here in the studio and shoot studio stuff so that's uh, the beauty and the, the, I think the big advantage for us shooting the Bahamas is on the one side finding quite perfect uh, conditions to shoot a movie on the water and on the other side having a great life while we are not shooting so I love it.
My name is Karl Skanter. I'm the executive producer here in this show. The Bahamas, I think, was a great choice to to, to decide to shooting here, and a, a couple of reasons. Uh, the first of all, for sure, the weather. Um, the, uh, the second. Uh, about the studio facilities here, I think in, the, in worldwide you have three, two or three locations like that. So that's the second one. And um, uh, these, but not last, um, the friendly peoples here in the Bahamas. Most of the time, I'm out there on the sea with the ship, you know. And that's a great experience. We see the big fishes like dolphins and we see turtles around here and that's wonderful. Um, I don't spend a lot of time here on the island because um, I don't have the time because I'm out there. Uh, but I enjoy the sea very much. My name is Jonathan Jones. I'm a production on set training at the movie The Sea World. We do on set is make sure the behind the scenes is set up, that they have the drinks, uh, whatever they need, the system by and all the actors get on. We get a head count of who's on the boat, who's off the boat, and we organize everything to make the movie go ahead. So this is my first time working on set and behind a movie, and it's also a wonderful experience. I really enjoyed watching how they do movies and how Great Island. I love to do some more of this now because, you know, this is great. It's wonderful. It's a good thing to do. And I wish some more of us could get more involved in it. And we could take a little time and look at our beautiful island and see the goodness that we have here and letting foreigners come here and look at it and enjoy it. I got this opportunity to uh, Sarah Hamilton. She gave me a call and I'm glad that she took a chance on me and I would have let her down. I'm playing Wolf Larson. It's um, it's after Jack London's Sea Wolf. It's a um, it's, um, classic for us. It's a classic in Germany. We all grew up with, um, they had a four part TV thing in the 70s and my whole generation grew up with um, with the image of a guy squeezing a rare potato and as kids we tried to trick each other with having like a cooked potato in our pockets and, uh, and the rare one and having competitions about that so a whole, whole generation is uh, <laughs> has these pictures in mind so that we do a, we do a sequel a, a remake now and um, and we try to update it a little bit because it's kind of difficult in these days um, where kids run around with uh, with computers and uh, and and this DS stuff and so I have kids myself it's it's a little difficult to to drag them into the world of uh, of Jack London. We grew up in tree houses and read these books, you know, so it was a different time. Uh, but it's a very interesting subject and it's uh, it's basically two worlds clashing. And uh, there's a cra character called um, Van Weiden who um, his ship sunk and we take him on board and uh, it's it's basically the clash between two cultures. There are about 40 Bahamians employed and there are several uh, trainees on the program. What we like to especially do on projects that come to the Bahamas, or Grand Bahama particularly, is try to uh, develop our crew base, develop the expertise of the young Bahamians, raise their consciousness about filming opportunities. So as film production companies desire to come to Grand Bahama, we reduce the amount of crew that they have to bring and that increases the uh, monies that would be spent on salaries here in Grand Bahama. And this will shoot for about five weeks, five, six weeks. And next week we start shooting in Nassau, a film called Duplicity, a Universal Pictures film with Julia Roberts, Clive Owen, Billy Bob Thornton, Paul Giamatti and Tom Wilkinson. And it'll be shot on Paradise Island and parts of New Providence. So that's a wonderful production. It's a small shoot, but to have a big director like uh, Tony Gilroy, who directed Michael Clayton and wrote the screenplay for The Born Identity and Born Supremacy, etc. It's just wonderful to have that type of uh, talent in the Bahamas. And then we come back to Grand Bahama around the middle of May, late, late May into June, and we start filming the sequel to the film that shot here in 2005, Eye of the Dolphin, they'll shoot the sequel to Eye of the Dolphin, it's now called Way of the Dolphin. The lead actress, uh, Carly Schroeder, she's four years older, so she'll, her character will take on a different role. She'll be a bit more risque in terms of some of the things she do. She, the original, some of the original cast will be coming back, Catherine Ross and Adrian Dunbar, George Harris, so we're looking forward to that. That'll be about a three-week shoot. And then we have a big 45-day shoot 
of our first Bollywood film. We're very excited about this. This is an Indian production uh, called Bollywood Films. They're going to be shooting a film called Bollywood Blue. It's, uh, I read the script and it comes across as the uh, uh, Indian version of Into the Blue and they've hired some of the Marine Coordination people off of Into the Blue on their production. The lead actor is arguably the Brad Pitt of India. His name is Sanjay Dutt. The lead actress is former Miss Universe 2001, Laura Datta. So we, they've got some wonderful actors. And this will shoot in Nassau, and they may go to one of the art islands. We're not sure yet because they're still shoring up some of their locations. But I would say 80% of it will be done in Nassau, and then the balance, whatever they shoot in the Bahamas, will be done on one of the islands. So we're, that'll take us up to five projects. And for five projects for a country that's developing its film industry, and to have big productions like Universal, big independent directors like Spike Lee in the Bahamas, I think that's a tremendous achievement. So the future looks very bright. And we've got some other productions that are considering us. I was in Los Angeles at the AFC, AFCI location show, and then I was at the Tribeca Film Festival. And there's an uh, independent film called Sea Witches that uh, they need a tank, and closest tank to the United States that I can think of is here in Grand Bahama. So that film may come and scout and give us some consideration. Then there's another film called uh, Honey a honeymoon dream it, it requires a wonderful resort and I'm going to try to push that to Grand Bahama because they've got wonderful resorts here and the lead act in that will be uh, Jack Black and Ben Stiller so we we think if these things all come to, to pass we'll have a very successful year we hope you've enjoyed this segment of the Bahamas weekly and I hope you will stay with us and check us daily we have a lot of exciting things coming up come and do your film in the Bahamas